Hi, hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name's Courtney, you can call me Cords. Beetlejuice, 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 that's right. Today, I'm sitting down to watch the Beetlejuice sequel trailer. Yes, a sequel, not a remake. That's quite refreshing. This is the sequel to the 1988 film, Beetlejuice, which was written and directed by writers Michael McDowell, Larry Wilson, and Warren Skarin. Tim Burton, this is, this is a Tim Burton. <laughs> We have Tim Burton back to direct the sequel, Beetlejuice 2. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like any of the same returning writers, but it has almost been 40 years since the first film came out, so who knows, maybe the writers are recruiting other ghosts to haunt, <laughs> in the most gentle way to put it. So this is a trailer reaction. Before we get started, like this video, subscribe to my channel, give me a big thumbs up. Really, really appreciate it. And I just recently hit a thousand subscribers. Yes, I'm going to continue to yap about that. Yes. Why? Because it took me four years. Okay. Now that we have that out of the way, let's get into the trailer reaction. The original cast, like oh, Winona Ryder is gonna be in it. I'm excited, and Catherine O'Hara is back. I love it. Okay, so who died? They summon him again. Michael Keaton returns, I think, and then they summon him again. But I need to know who dies. This feels like a teaser. Ah, yeah, it's a teaser. Uh, okay. Short but sweet. The juice is loose. <laughs> the juice is loose. Okay, so it's gonna be Winona Ryder who calls him back. Ooh! Okay. That's it. AD. <laughs> 2024 AD. I love how they called it Beetlejuice Beetlejuice instead of Beetlejuice 2. Yeah. I, Such a I didn't know idea. that. I didn't know that. I literally looked it up and it's like this article from Variety says officially titled Beetlejuice Beetlejuice is set for release on September 6th. And that's so good because then they can set themselves up with, for a third one that's mm -hmm. Beetlejuice Beetlejuice Beetlejuice. Just so clever. You know what? I'm sorry, I'm gonna go on a rant. I took an edible. It reminds me of how that movie Now You See Me, the sequel should have been Now You Don't. Oh. But they made it Now You See Me too, and it's just like, really? Yeah. You missed the opportunity of a lifetime. They missed so hard. He did. Anyways, and this it, is awesome. But this is genius. This is taking advantage of the, the good Honestly, writing. Jenna Ortega being in it as well for me is like, it's just so on brand for her after doing Wednesday and already working with Tim Burton. Oh my gosh. Like, 100%. it's like, I bet you Tim Burton did Wednesday with her and then was like, okay, now we can do this, this sequel to Beetlejuice because we have found the perfect person to join the cast. Mm -hmm. And Michael Keaton's insane. He is. He's so the good. juice is loose. Can you believe he played <laughs> Batman? Because I can never. I'm always for. He's kind of iconic. Some people's favorite Batman is Michael Keaton. That's yeah. I am a Christian Bale girly through and through. So sorry. A billion. Wait, you don't like Ben Affleck? Who? <laughs> I don't know her. Uh, the writing team is different for the sequel, but it's still directed by Tim Burton, so it's gonna be good. And we also have Willem Dafoe joining the cast. Oh, that's. He wasn't in the teaser, and his character is not titled on IMDb. Oh, he's gonna be somebody from Beetlejuice. He's gonna be probably someone dead already. Yeah, of I course. feel like they wouldn't just be like, oh, you never know. I hope he's dead. I want to see some cool costumes. He just makes a cameo as, like, the mailman. That would piss me off, mate. <laughs> Beetlejuice has a wife, spoiler alert, by looking at the cast. Monica Belushi. 
feel like I should know that. Matrix. She's in the Matrix movies. According to the Variety article, it is uh, Monica, Monica Belushi plays Beetlejuice's wife and Willem Dafoe stars as police officer in the afterlife and former B-movie action star. That's he's gonna be dead and he's gonna be playing a former B-movie action star who has become a police officer in the afterlife. There we go. Whose acting skills help him as an afterlife detective. That's really funny. Oh, wow. So apparently before the writer's strike, they had a day and a half left of filming Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice before everything got shut down. So they could finish it really quick in November as soon as the strikes ended. First thing that really comes up when you search for Beetlejuice the sequel is that under Google, it's like, people also ask, will Johnny Depp be in Beetlejuice 2? <laughs> it's a little bit creepy. Sometimes though, what they've been doing is actually putting people, like casting people and not uploading their IMDb credit until the movie's already come out because it's such a, su a surprise cameo that way. So I wouldn't be surprised if Johnny Depp was doing a sneaky cameo. He'd done that before. He has done that before with um, Tusk. He was not credited in Tusk and he, I don't think he even is still. Let's see if he's credited on there now. He was the he detective was guy that they meet. Oh, that's right, the looking, sketchy guy. And he's like got this crazy <laughs> accent and he's got like a bunch of disguises on. Anyway, he has been credited now. Guy Lapointe, um, the Quebecois detective that... Guy. They Guy oh yeah, Guy. Yeah. Guy Lapointe. Michael Keaton recently reprised his role as Batman in last year's The Flash, and now he is reprising his role in Beetlejuice. The sequel picks up decades later with a death in the family. The director plays Koi. I see. It's a secret. We don't get to know who dies. I was hoping we could find it. Someone dies in order for them to bring back Beetlejuice. Because again, there's not much on IMDb about it. It just says, this is a follow-up to the comedy Beetlejuice 1988 about a ghost who's recruited recruited to help uh, haunt a house, which is, you know, Alec Baldwin and Gina Davis, I think. Just something about Beetlejuice, even as a little kid, terrified me like so, so much. I really thought I could look in the mirror and say it like Bloody Mary and just have a Beetlejuice haunting. And you know what? I think my mom let me believe it was real. <laughs> so yeah, I would go to bed. <laughs> but then you know what? I couldn't sleep alone for 10 years. This just in, Tim Burton has confirmed that he'll be using stop motion animation to bring a lot of the classic Beetlejuice effects to the screen. I love that about Tim Burton movies because honestly that is part in, it's part in the uncanny valley feel of it all where it's like kind of creepy and foreign. Little Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. It's been 35 years. So it didn't feel like Beetlejuice 2 to me. Tim Burton says, it didn't feel like that kind of movie. The other one I thought of because one of my favorite Dracula movies is Dracula AD 1972 was Beetlejuice 2024. AD. A nice simple title, clever, and it is a nod to, an, an, a nice gesture, if you will, to um, Dracula AD 1972. We have to watch Dracula AD now <laughs> to fully understand. I, I hate watching teaser trailers because they're so short and there's not much for me to talk about, but I really wanted to sit down and watch the Beetlejuice trailer because I love Jenna Ortega and I think she's doing wonderful things as a young woman in the film industry. So I love to see what she does and I am looking forward to the next season of Wednesday. I know she's got a lot more creative control. I'm happy for her. So should be pretty good. Uh, like this video, subscribe to my channel. Thank you for being here and I will see you next week.